Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of TerraTech. And on this episode, we're going to continue where we left off. Now, while I was gone, I went ahead and actually came over here and mined a whole bunch of resources. And I actually found out which one of these blocks was it that I needed to uh, to repair my bots with. So, actually, I clicked on the wrong thing there. The block that we were looking for on the very last episode is this little round one right here. And it's called the GSO, GSO Repair Bubble. And that's basically what casts this little green shield area that I can repair my bots with. So I want to get a couple more of those because my bot is getting a little bit too big to fit inside just one. Now if I click on my uh, GSO payload terminal, I can go ahead and come into the blocks and I can buy a few more. And they're kind of expensive. I think they're around $3,000 a piece. Uh, you can also buy the shield units, and I'll show you those as well. They're down here right next to it. You can also buy the uh, GSO bubble shield projectors. Uh, they're $4,000 a piece, and they protect your entire base from getting attacked. That's the bluish shield. So I do want some of those, but for now I want a few of these uh, repair bubbles. So I'm going to get two of them, though you have to wait a couple of seconds before you can get the next one. So two of them are incoming. Let's get out of here and see where they drop them. Hopefully uh, someplace where we can see it. Takes a couple of seconds for it to come in. Where are they? It's supposed to be like right in front of you. Oh, they're over here. So they fell down the the cliff. So let's put it over here in front of us so that we can turn the camera angle and actually see what we're we're aiming at. Let's put one here and we could put another one in here, but I don't really think that's going to be worth it. So let's put it over here on the side. So now pretty much wherever we go around our base, uh we can get healed up. Now, there may be one day where I build a whole bunch of these little tiny uh, interconnected pieces, these uh, conveyor belts, and really expand this so that I can pull my guy in into some kind of little, uh, you know, almost a little uh, garage and have him healed on all sides and then just back out of it. But for now, I think that's going to do just fine. So what we're going to do on this episode is uh, we're going to deliver these resources real quick and take off my, uh, my, or my little uh, harvesters here because I don't want to take those with me. If they get destroyed, you know, with my bot, that's going to be a pretty big below. So I'm going to leave those here, and I'm going to come back out, and we're going to see if we can find some enemies. I want to see if I can uh, build a bigger and better bot. Now, the best way to do that is to go out into the desert area. So let me see where is, I think it's over here in this direction. So let's head down this way. Desert area always has, oh, well, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Let's kill this guy. Turn. There we go. Oh, nice. Holy crap, look at all the weapons he has on the front. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Let me destroy you. Yes, he is stuck. He can't move. And I'm just going to sit sit here and whittle you down. Uh, where is your main base? Where's your main bot guy? I don't see it. There we go. So he's right over there. You see him right here in the back. If I shoot him... Wow, that destroys quite a bit every hit. Let me move that to the side. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> oh, that was satisfying. I like that. Okay, so we are going to... I guess we're going to expand our guy a little bit here on the sides. Just on this third row. And the reason for doing that is I guess I want the wheels to be a little more even. And I want to give myself enough room in the third row to have weapons on it. And so that's going to have to go up too. And this is going to be a lot of weight to throw on my bots. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea. It may be too heavy to actually take this uh, design now. In the old days, uh, when the game first came out, uh, and I say old days, it just it didn't come out that long ago, but <laughs> it was a lot easier to design your bot like this, and you didn't have to worry about the mechanics of the weight or you know anything like that. With the wheels not being able to support it, they start screeching and and you know, getting flames on them, and they, 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 they literally don't bode very well for you, and it just doesn't work very well at all, so we want to try this, and hopefully it still works, but if not, we'll redesign. That's kind of what this game is all about, is you find a design that you like, and then when you get better pieces, you redesign it, and hopefully you're just as, you know, fond of the new design as you were for the old one, so let's see. we got a couple more blocks we can use. Now, I'm going to put these in the back to make it a little bit more... In fact, I think we're going to expand it to go a little bit further back. 
That way I can put a few more tires on there. It seems to work out better the more tires you have because when you go over a hill that you can't quite get over because you know you're too wide or you're too low to the ground, the more tires you have to grip onto that kind of stuff seems to really uh, play a part in whether you're going to get over or whether you're going to have to sit there and play with it for you know 10 or 15 minutes to <laughs> get over it, which I've done before. So there's another bot over here. Now I would normally go back and heal up, but because he's so close, I'm going to come over here and destroy him real quick. I don't think he's going to last too long. Boom! Nothing but nothing but a weapon, so I can, I can live with that. Because weapons are kind of expensive, and even if you're not going to use them on this bot, you can take them back to your main base and put them on the uh, the little guys, the little minions that you've managed to uh, to build. So let me get out of here. There's too many of these little resources things on the ground that are getting in my way. Now I have run into the issue where when I'm harvesting for resources, those little blocks actually get sucked underneath your vehicle. And if you're right on the very bottom layer, that's not a good thing to have happen. You can't even move when that happens. No, he's found the one weak spot. There, now you're dead. No, you're still not dead. Wow, you're a fast little sucker. Come on, turn around. Turn around. Punk. Punk, <laughs> you're gonna die. Now you're dead. Oh, man, he did a lot more damage than he should have. Uh, so let's see, just wheels? That's all he had left is wheels. Oh, and a weapon. Okay, we'll take the weapon. And do we need any of the wheels? I don't think we do. I, maybe he might blast it off a few of ours. Let's look. Uh, yeah, he did blast off one. I'm not even sure how he got to that one, to be honest. That's, that's really far in there. Let's go into our build mode, see if we can get it in there. Uh, there it is. Okay, so that one's good. And these are all good. Okay, so I don't need to worry about that. Let's head on back over here. I'm going to heal up and deliver some of these resources. Now, I don't really want this resource module on my, my ship, but I'm leaving it there just in case I find something weird that I've never seen before. I can... Uh, oh, am I stuck again? I rammed into it. This is one of the issues I find with this game. If you run into something really, really hard, it seems like you meld into it, and it doesn't really want to let go, even though there's nothing there. I mean, I'm really not stuck on anything, and yet it still was giving me a hard time. So let's see if I can get in here. Okay, so that works a little bit. Uh, come on. I need to redesign this. This is not a good idea. It doesn't work very well at all. I'm too wide, and the, the base is too close together. Even with my new style, my new uh, new blocks, it's really kind of difficult to get in there. And now I'm going to have to turn around and come in at it from behind. Uh, hopefully, if I can do it. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Why load coming through? My guy is pretty big. So, okay. So at least it doesn't take very long to heal up. That's a good thing. So let's come out here into the desert. It's a little bit over to our right. And hopefully, we'll find some pretty good bots. I want some yellow blocks. And the yellow blocks, for those of you who are not familiar with this game, are these really, really big blocks that ha the tires are the best because the tires are probably about the size of my vehicle for one tire. I mean, they're huge. I'm not, I'm not even trying to exaggerate. They're just huge. Uh, wow, that guy is... You know, that guy's stacked, and he'd probably be really good for us to get a lot of, a lot of pieces. But like I said, I kind of want one of the yellow blocks, and I know they're out here. And once you get those, these other little tiny ones are really insignificant. I mean, they're not going to play a big role. They're just very, very weak compared to the, the yellow stuff. So it's definitely hard to take out a yellow enemy. But if you're able to do it, the rewards are so worth it. And you may just have to look around for a little while. But remember, don't go too far away from your base if you're not familiar with the area. Because if you die, you do have the option of coming back and looting your body if you can find it and get to it in time. But if you're so far away from your base that, uh, you know, when you spawn, you can't uh, find your corpse, then, yeah, you're going to run into some issues there. And there's some minerals out here I've never seen before, so... Let's... let's get this! I want to I wanna see what this is, and my, my little thing should be able to pick up at least a few of the pieces. I may have to, uh, <laughs> to run over it butt first and see if that uh, will pick any of this stuff up. So I got three. Come on, two more. No? Three's it's the limit. Okay, so... It's not too bad, considering it only dropped five pieces. But see, that's why I have the little little tiny piece on there. Because you never know when you're going to run into something you've never seen before. And you definitely want to take advantage of that. 
So I think there's nothing on these pillars over here. No, these are cactus. Made out of something. We'll have to come back and try killing those things. But let's come back over to our base. Should be able to get pretty close. Here we go. And I'm liking the way it looks. I'm liking the fact that we got guard towers patrolling the uh, the perimeter. And our base isn't as vulnerable as it was before. And it was really, really vulnerable before. So I'm very, very, very glad of the direction our guys are going. I guess let's head this direction because we didn't see uh, the bad guys that we were hoping for over in the desert area. So maybe we can run into something over here. Now, I'm not heading towards the yellow question mark because that is a bug. They have a an area over here. I guess they're planning on putting something on it, but it's not there yet. And, uh, yeah, it just keeps telling us to go back and, and discover the location, but there's no, nothing there to discover. Ah, oh, crap. I'm stuck on this thing again. Let's get some momentum, see if we can get over this little hump. Uh, can we do it? Can we do it? Yes. There. See, so you don't want to stop when you're on one of those things, or even coming up to one of them. You want to build up as much speed as possible, and you'll find you'll get around the map fairly easy. You won't run into too many issues. I do need to uh, to pop my guy up off the off the floor a little bit and make sure that he's he's a little higher, but I haven't done it just yet. I, have, I don't really have the blocks to do it, and I haven't felt like buying the blocks. I kind of wanted to find them off of enemies. I wasn't really running into problems finding enemies until now, which is when I'm looking for them. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of weird that they decided to to abandon me now, but there's some kind of fire out there in the distance. Let's go out there and check that out. I haven't really explored too much in this game, so this is the first time I've really had a, a bot that I felt that I, I don't really mind losing, but at the same time, if I did, I'd probably come back and try to get... Oh, it's a yellow guy. It's a yellow guy. Can I get him? Can I get him? Move over a little bit more. There we go. We're hitting him. We're hitting... Yes, 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 yes. Oh, <laughs> you're mine, punk. You're going down. Oh, if I can hit you. Can I hit you? Come on, move over. Did one of my tires fall off? I think one of my tires fell off. Come on, kill him. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was nice. I didn't get the wills, but I did get the blocks. And the blocks are very, very worthwhile to get. There we go. Look how freaking huge that is, guys. That is a giant freaking block and I can just completely and totally redesigns my my uh, my bot when I get back to my base so let's put these weapons on I don't know if I'll take the uh, the pillar right here I don't know if I'm gonna take that with me I'm gonna see if I can move around first and if I can then I'll take it with me uh, oh yeah you didn't last for two seconds uh, we are really kicking some serious butt here guys this is really coming together I'm definitely digging this now Okay, so let's put this back here, and can we, this is, this is gonna be weird. Let's see, can we put it on top? How, how tall can we go? Holy crap. Holy crap, guys. I don't know if we can get back like this, but we're gonna try. Let's see if we can get back to our base before. The, the problem with this is once you get these blocks, you have a tendency to run into sorts of enemies that are so much harder than you. It's almost like they realize that you have these blocks, and so you must be prepared for it. And you're not always, you know, the very first time you get them, you're pretty weak, kind of like I am. I'm pretty strong, but not compared to the enemies that use these. They have huge dump trucks. It's basically the exact same blocks you get with the gray ones, but think of four times bigger. And so they don't really get bigger weapons. I haven't really seen that. But you get giant wheels, you get giant blocks, and it takes so much more to destroy these blocks than the average ones, you know, because they're four times, five times bigger. So it's definitely something you have to take into account, but... We need to head over to my base and not in this weird direction. But I was trying to avoid the hills as much as possible and try to avoid chopping any of the stuff down because it does tend to get underneath your tires and cause some ir some some issues like this. You know, now I'm stuck because I can't go forward, I can't go back because of the width of my tires and my blocks and now I'm just all this stuff underneath me. Not exactly what I was hoping to do. I need to build up some more speed. No, come on. Yeah, there we go. I thought I was going to tip over. I do like the balance a little bit more. In the old uh, patch, I don't think we would have been able to uh, to take all this stuff back with us. You can see this stuff is getting stuck underneath here. I kind of hope that they will put something in the patch to... No, I need to fix that. To, uh, to stop that from happening, where the items will fall underneath your vehicle and cause your vehicle to quite literally hover. 
because it's being pulled up by this little hover pad, this little resource gatherer. And because it's being pulled up and it's underneath you, it actually pulls your vehicle up. So usually what happens is one of your one side of your vehicle has a whole bunch of them underneath it, and it causes it to be completely and totally gravity free, and it just causes it to skid in that direction. No matter how how much you try to go in another direction, it just skids in that one direction. So yeah, it's it's very very annoying. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know what happened there with the camera angles. Can we put? Yeah, we can put that there. We're gonna attach these onto here just so that we can put them down, and then I'm gonna redesign my my guy to incorporate that. Uh, can we put that right there? So let's get out of the way. No, we're stuck already. Uh, we need to get in there and get healed up as well because some of these blocks were damaged. And anytime you do a big fight like that, you'd be surprised about how many blocks uh, actually get hit and how hard they get hit. It doesn't look like you take that much damage, but at the end of the battle when you come back to your base, you'll notice almost all your, bl your, your blocks are getting healed up. And you definitely want to make sure that as many of them as, as can be are. So let's put this down. We don't want that. We don't want this one either. Uh, and we can move this over. Put that on here. Uh, we can add some more weapons to our guy. We'll put those on there. We'll have to fix that because I don't think it's stuck on there, right? Let's put our shield down. We've got a radar, so we want to leave that on our guy. And I need to move these weapons so that they're facing the right direction because it doesn't do any good to have them on your bot if they're being blocked by the 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 weapons in front and the way you do that is you use your scroll wheel to change the direction they're facing and you can do that in all four directions uh, it doesn't matter just make sure that you have it on the back of your bot if you're going to shoot backwards or on the front of your bot if you're going to shoot forward so it's pretty self-explanatory just for those of you who have never done it before it could be kind of daunting i didn't know it the first time i played and uh, yeah, I ran into some issues with that. So now, usually I would put these blocks on the front of my vehicle, but that would require an entire redesign, and I don't really want to do that this second. So we're gonna come over here and see if we can kill some more guys real quick. Holy crap! Holy crap! No, oh, turn, turn. Can I go a little closer? He's stuck. Look at that. He's actually stuck because he's so freaking wide and heavy. That's the same issue I run into. And I think the reason that you're, we're finding a lot of enemies like this that are suffering from that issue is because they just did that patch. And uh, because they did that patch, they haven't gone back and redesigned these guys to, to fix that. And so they're actually suffering from the same thing we are. And until they do, we can take advantage of it a little bit and, uh, yeah, wipe the floor with them a little bit more than we probably should have. That guy probably should have been pretty difficult to kill. Uh, and in the end, he was, you know, super easy. Let's go ahead and put these here. We're going to go ahead and expand our bot a little bit on the side and the back. And the only reason, like I said before, is just to make sure that the the weight is evenly distri distributed as much as possible on our bot. Because if it's not, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like our bot really does what it's supposed to. get stuck real easy and have all these issues. So let's go ahead and put these over here. And we'll keep expanding it. Now we're going to, how are we going to do this? I guess we can do that. I kind of want another row in the front. I don't know, should we have four rows in the front, guys? I guess we could. But let me fix the holes that are already there. There's one right here. And I need to put some weapons down on the front. Keep losing is all the weapons that we get. So remember, the weapons you put on the front are the weapons you are okay with losing first. So any really good ones, like the mortars and stuff, you tend to want to put those on top. Uh, and the little cheapy ones that you get, the ones that aren't very good, the ones that shoot straight only, uh, you will tend to put on the bottom. Because again, when they shoot straight, uh, that's kind of what you want. You want to be able to shoot straight ahead of you uh, and kill the enemy before he even gets close to you. So let's see, we got a weapon here, some lasers, some more lasers, and then one of these that shoots straight. So that's all of them. Let's see, where can we put these? I guess I want to put this, kind of want to put these pretty low. But occasionally it's good to have them up higher because if you're on a hill like that and you can't quite get over uh, the hill to shoot those guys, it's kind of nice to be able to have that extra little uh, range to your, your uh, weapon to get over that hill because you're at a higher angle or higher elevation. So that's kind of nice. Let's see. We can actually go a little further over. Let's see. We're going to have to move this. Put that in the front. And we're going to go right there. So this is actually coming together pretty nice. I, I like this design. 
Let's see. There's wheels there, so I'm going to have to move that wheel. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> no, I didn't want to toss that either. Uh, come on, now you're just playing with me. Okay, so we're going to put that there. And we're going to put this wheel over here. Now you can see the wheels that I already have are pretty much covered up by blocks. Which means the weight, I think, is going to be a little bit better because it's pushing down right on top of that. So let's actually move this like that. And I'll put one here. And then I'll put the tires on it. I think we want to have some tires, yeah. I think these are the good ones. A uh, decent size. Not the greatest, but they're okay. And I probably shouldn't get the damaged one, but that's okay because I think we're going to head back here uh, pretty soon and actually heal up. So, let's see. I have to change these. I have to change these weapons. So let's move them around so they can actually hit. Now, this does take a while. I've mentioned that before, but I think it's part of the charm of the game is to just sit here and mess with this. Because you can have almost any combination or any design that you want and I'm actually pretty anxious to see what kind of designs you guys come up with because if you have a Twitter account you're supposed to be able to uh, take a snapshot of it uh, it sends it out somehow and then uh, it will actually import it into other people's video games at random and that's what was killing people massively before was uh, different people's designs on their bots that would show up and it's usually somebody who's been playing the game for a long time and had a really kick butt bot and they wanted to show it off and that would be the bot that destroyed you you know five minutes into the game <laughs> you're not gonna be able to defeat that but yeah it was interesting enough that it was kinda cool to check it out but I'm glad they changed it and they they fixed it so that for a while there they would only spawn when you're out here in the desert and it wouldn't spawn over here in the green area so that newbies would have a chance at actually you know building up a decent sized guy to uh, defend themselves against it and then uh, later on I think they pretty much took them out completely uh, I'm not sure why but let's see I think we can pick up this pick this up and put that there let's see can I get in over here now I haven't quite figured out why none of my guys are doing anything they're put on harvest duty and I even tell them occasionally to follow me and they do that for about five six minutes sometimes uh, if I stay over here in this area but the moment I leave they stop doing that and if I stay over here long enough they'll stop following me as well so that kinda sucks I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong there but hopefully we'll figure it out here pretty soon uh, this is getting kinda heavy but not too bad actually let's get up here heal off our weapons again the weapons are the thing that's actually taking most of the damage in this game because they have to be within line of sight to hit the enemy and because of that at least the ones we found now maybe later on in the game there's there's ones that don't have to have that restriction but holy crap that guy's big that guy is huge you guys let's see if we can hit him from over here I don't really want to get that close to him come on let me do it yes oh, am I doing it no baby there we go. Yes, we're hitting him. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. No, don't destroy us. No, don't, no, don't, no, 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 no. Holy crap. That guy's doing some serious damage. We just lost like 90% of our weapons. AG Scott, mobile refinery. Come on. Oh, it's a mobile refinery. That's cool. We want this guy. But we want him intact. No, oh, can I do it? Oh, suck. This guy is moving too quick and I can't turn around fast enough I keep firing because I do have weapons on the side but he knows that I only have a few weapons on the back and that's why he's, he's more than fine with me not hitting him from the front oh he's dead thank you Woo. holy crap oh come on let me get some of these things I need to oh my god I need to rebuild my whole bot basically look at this he annihilated the front of my vehicle just completely and totally bypass 90% of it and that's why you have so many layers on the front of your vehicle in front of your main cab because if you didn't that would be you know utter death for you that your main cab would be destroyed right now and there wouldn't be anything you could do about it you'd have to start over which uh, you know really it's kind of part of the game but it does suck at times <laughs> to have to do that uh, I'm not a big fan of that if I don't have to be you know I mean it's it's fun to do it occasionally but because you want to not because you died that part sucks so let's get this in there we're gonna move a little closer there we go and I'm gonna put some of these blocks back here and the reason I'm doing this again is uh, well mainly just to get them out of the way for now because I don't want them to disappear uh, and we may get attacked here if we wait here too long so we're gonna come over here and grab all this stuff uh, we can no we don't want to do that 
we can put this here and then I'm gonna put these blocks that are gonna go to my base right here in the back so I can keep track of them and that's kinda nice it's free resources that you don't have to pay for so you can expand your base a little bit and do it without really uh, harvesting so if you like the harvesting part which I do I definitely like the harvesting part but if you're one of those people who don't like that you can probably play this game without worrying about that you can just come out here and collect blocks and resources and and get your stuff that way but if you're one of those people who do you don't have to do as much fighting you can actually uh, spend a lot of your time harvesting resources and building up base defenses and then when you're ready come out here with your bot all you know stacked out and, and ready to go and just wipe the floor with all the the creatures you run into so yeah it's it's definitely kinda cool that you can pick and choose how you want to play and I'm, I'm interested into seeing how multiplayer uh, will actually affect the gameplay because then you're gonna have people who actually form like groups or alliances and you know one person will like uh, you know coming out here and uh, and killing bots while the other one likes sitting back home and you know collecting resources and if you can get two people like that who who complement themselves like that uh, rather well I think they could be you know a pretty unstoppable pair uh, against other players if it lets you do that so we'll definitely have to keep an eye on how these these updates uh, take into effect I think they're coming out with 5.1 here in a few days uh, we're on 5.0 right now and I'm interested to see what they're gonna add 5.0 just came out literally like uh, two or three days ago and now they're coming out with 5.1 that's what I tell you that the updates are insanely quick which normally I would say would be bad for a video game but these guys are doing it really well they're they're making a lot of good changes and I don't know if these are just ones that were in the works for a long time uh, and they happen to to just get a whole bunch you know semi done really quickly but uh, yeah, they're 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 busting their butt. I'm trying to get this in there, but it won't let me. Every time it shows that it can uh, to tease me, I, I let go, and it it puts it in some weird funky spot uh, that won't let me do what I want. And I kind of need the the weight down. Oh, wait, there we go. No, come on, put it down. <laughs> oh, definitely need to to figure a way to fix this. Uh, anytime you have blocks like this, it it seems to want to put it underneath. And I think the wheels should have uh, a default mechanism in there to tell them to always be flat, you know? Because I don't think there's really any reason to have it, uh, you know, going up underneath the block. I mean, yeah, occasionally you might have somebody trying to store tires like that, but if the default was to store it flat, I think uh, for those weird situations, somebody else would have to sit there and try to try to fadangle it in there. But for everybody else, they wouldn't have that problem 90% of the time, which, you know, for those people... I think those are the ones that you kind of want to appease because that's going to be your average user, not the the weird scenarios where you know something like that would take into account. Let's put this weapon up here. There we go. And now we're going to head back because, as I said before, we did get hurt quite a bit there. I'm surprised we even survived. I don't know if he he uh, you know flinched there at the end or if he lost his tires and his weapons. You know if all of that made the difference or what. But yeah, he definitely definitely had us on the ropes. And I was worried that he'd get a lucky shot, and that would be the end of our bot. Uh, all the pieces would go scattering. No, get out from underneath me. All those blocks, all those blocks standing in my way. Get out of here. I need those big yellow tires. Once I get those, that's going to be a game changer. That's when things are going to get so, so much easier. And wicked, too, because then I plan to go out there and just cause a ruckus. <laughs> I'm already doing that as it is, but uh, yeah, I'm going to do it even more so. Can I get in there? Turn. There we go. Uh, so I can't even get all of my bot in there. The fourth row in can't get in there. So let's see. I'll put some of these weapons down here on the bottom. I don't know why I don't have any down here in the first place. I know I lost quite a few, but I thought I replaced them. Let's put these here. Uh, we can put these down. Right there. And that way they can at least get healed up. And I'll put these up. I kind of like having the artillery a little higher. Uh, on my vehicle, so those are good. Change that. Can I back up? Okay, so that's getting healed. My back of the vehicle definitely needs to get healed. If I can get that in there. I'm trying to get the side in there real quick. There we go. Wow, look at that. That's taking a lot of healing. No, get out of here. 
and it wasn't quite done with all of that healing. So this one is taking quite a while. I mean, usually it's in there for about five seconds, if that, and it's completely healed up. This one's taking a lot longer. So yeah, it's pretty damaged. So let's take these pieces off and put them on our, our uh, base here, since that's uh, part of the stuff that we stole uh, from the other guy. And we'll keep expanding it out. And the reason I expand it out is so I can put those uh, regeneration uh, balls on there. And that I can also put the shielding for the base when we finally get some more. Because uh, we want to expand it out as much as possible. So we want that. Uh, and we'll put this over here because we don't need the recharging. Or not the recharging, but the harvesting thing. Let's come over here and get out of the way. Come on. No. It's hard to tell when I'm there for a while which part of my base or which part of my bot is the front and which ones is you know is the back because they really start to look the same after I get that pyramid thing going so yeah, can I get in there no I cannot <laughs> I say that before I even try because I don't even want to try to get this in here it's like trying to oh my god oh, okay I got it in there thank you okay I just try to get the wheels basically because I don't want the wheels to pop off everything else is fine to get damaged but if I lose the wheels that sucks really really bad so let's go ahead and head back out again uh, to try to get this guy right here on the map. Go ahead and destroy. Again, I'm not really a big fan of doing that because those stupid blocks get all over the place. It's almost like they should make those almost uh, transparent. Not transparent by uh, you can see through them, but that you can run right through them and your bot doesn't get stuck on them. But I know they kind of wanted to give everything some some actual mass. And they did it. It just uh, it's kind of rough. There, now you're dead. <laughs> He was way too easy. Way too easy. Let's see. So now they're going to challenge me on the next one, I bet. They're going to give me somebody be pretty big and tough. Uh, which will be a guarantee if I come out here in the desert. And that's where we got our yellow blocks earlier, so that's definitely something we want to do. And that's where I'm heading. I'm heading out to the Great Unknown. Don't know what we're going to find out here. Hopefully something good. Hopefully not too far away either. But we do have our radar, so that helps us at least find the enemies. Rather than looking for him by sight, that would be pretty rough. I don't know if you'd want to do that constantly. Occasionally, you'll find something in the distance your radar's not picking up, but you see it, you know, roaming around. That's okay, but if I had to do that all the time, I don't know how many enemies I would find, because some of them blend into the, the landscape rather easily, or are hidden by obstructions like the forest or these, these bricks or mountains, you know. So just like right over on the other side of the mountain could be four bots, I don't know. But if I have the radar, I can see it up to a certain point, so I don't even have to go over that mountain just to know that I, I need to head over in that direction. And I'm not finding anything out here. I do know from uh, past experience with, uh, with getting in a bot and just heading in one direction, the map never seems to end. So you'll keep going for 30, 40, 50 minutes in one direction uh, and never get to anything. I mean, you'll get to like new areas and stuff, but you won't get to the other side of the planet and be coming back up on your base. So you can do that, but keep in mind that if you do, uh, you're going to have to travel 30 or 40 minutes to get back to your base or risk losing everything you have on your bot, which may be perfectly fine with you. You may actually design a small bot that's really fast and get over mountains really quick to go off and explore a certain area and see if there's anything there worth getting. Because at some point, I think it's going to be worth it for us to move our base to another spot and if we do that I kinda wanna do it uh, somewhere really big you know somewhere really different from where we're at and so I'd create this huge bot put all that stuff on the back of my guy and move my entire base at one time and hopefully try to avoid enemies which really doesn't look that hard to do uh, at times I, I don't know if we killed everybody no we're stuck back up back up come on you can do it you can do it no yes there we go okay so that's not a good way to go up no don't go down that See if we can build up some more momentum over here and uh, try to get up this little way. And you can see the landscape of the game actually comes into play, which is kind of cool. Not a lot of games do that. Usually it's just this flat terrain and you can go from point A to point B rather easily. And the only thing that gets in your way are doors or, or walls if you're not paying attention. But, you know, this one is pretty wide open and yet you're still not able to go everywhere. And you're kind of afraid to try out some new places because, as I said before, if you lose your bot, that's all that work you just spent. And you can guys have seen on the last few episodes, you spent quite a long time, uh, you know, working on this, guys. So I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, to be honest, guys. I can't really find anybody to fight. 
And uh, I don't know. What is this? Is this dirt over here? This does look like some kind of desert. Uh, but I don't see any bots out there. So yeah, if you guys do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe. Definitely helps grow my channel, and I greatly appreciate that, guys. Uh, if you have any comments or tips and tricks you want to share with the viewers, be sure to leave that down in the comment section as well, and I'll be sure to give you credit for it and share that on the next video. Again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode.